Uh, we gotta go over a lot for this whole weekend. We have to go through our medical today. So I had to get up, I had to go to the hospital. I had to get my breakfast first, cause I had to eat. But then we had to get to the hospital. Start off, I had to get an MRI on my knees. Then I had to sit in the machine and just hear this sound for almost an hour. Then I had to get my blood work. I had to pee in a cup. And then lastly, I had to, uh, what? Get a shot. They gave me a lollipop. I thought that was cool. to the combine conversation, Derek, when they say, well, this guy, you know, can bench 25 reps at, you know, 220 pounds consecutively, et cetera, et cetera. You know, how does that translate? Am I being too cynical? So I'm out here in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm out here for the combine. This is something that as a kid, I always wanted to be a part of. You know, they take like 330 guys and, or supposedly the best college football players and pretty much just work us out. You know, it's a strenuous week, you know, with interviews and with medicals and examinations. And, you know, our final portion is to go out there and compete. The Combine is really just an opportunity for scouts to just come out, you know, see the players in person, you know, compare guys standing next to each other. Uh, they get your height, weight, uh, wingspan, arm length, you know, uh, time your 40s. You know, really the, the main thing you're trying to do is just go out and uh, put up good numbers and put on a show and, you know, really just uh, prove to those scouts that you're capable. I have to meet with about 12 teams tomorrow, and then you have to go do more medical stuff. I have to get checked by all 32 team doctors. It'll be like five or six of them in a room, and all of them be tugging on every inch of my body to see if I'm fine, from my toes to my fingers to my legs, and you know, just checking up on me. Uh, NFL Combine underway. Johnny Manziel spoke this morning. I think, Derek, the thing about Manziel that makes me a little bit hesitant about him, I'm not saying he's not a, a tremendous player and is not going to be a good player, but well, let's be honest, Derek, he's playing behind a guy in Jake Matthews who, you know, this guy's a top three pick. That name alone sweetens the pot because he, of course, is the son of Bruce Matthews, who's in the Hall of Fame, one right. of the great linemen. He's clearly the number one offensive lineman, at least on a lot of the draft boards that I've seen. Yeah, I keep telling everyone, I hope I wasn't I wasn't grandfathered in through this whole process just because of all the family members I've had. Oh, I think this is most definitely a chance to go out here and raise some, some draft stock a little bit. You know, in any case, you know, it could rise or fall. And, you know, this is where it happens at. So um, I want to go out here and answer some of the critics and, and just see what I can do. The guy that I probably watched more than any in college was Taj Boyd. And he intrigues me because he does have a Russell Wilson ability to extend plays with his, you know, the way he can move around. He could run when he has to run. I like his size, even though he's not as tall as people would like. He has incredible playmaking ability, can move his feet. And I, I like him a lot. I think he's worth a team giving him a look as a serious starter. In terms of players around here, Lewis Nix is considered to be a, a top end first uh, he's a, round. He's a big boy. There, right? If he had left after last year, he likely would have been a surefire top 20 pick, but he had the meniscus tear and, and dealt with some injuries this year. And I think it held him back a little bit. You know, I just want to show people, you know, Lewis Nix is a hard worker. And, you know, I had a meniscus tear, you know, I got my knee scope and I came back from it and I'm going to kick butt at the combine this weekend. Yeah, it's really surreal, you know. You see it on TV every year, and you know, now that I finally you know, had my shot and got my opportunity to come out and do it, it's just real humbling, you know. I just feel real honored to be in this position and have this opportunity right now. I always look forward to getting out there and competing. Um, that's just something that's in my nature. You know, you have a lot of guys who say they're the most competitive person out there, but, you know, when Wolves get in the arena, the one always comes out on top, so, you know, we'll see what it's about, man. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I never had a job interview this stressful. I mean, this is my first job interview, to be honest. But, you know, uh, we're just working past it. You know, I trained for this. You know, I think I'm ready physically. The mental part of it, I think I'm ready. You know, it's all just about getting through it and doing the best you can. We'll take a quick break. We'll continue talking about the combine over the course of the show. 239-1260 is the telephone number. You're listening to Quarry and Schultz on 1260 WNDE. With no power no on the kick. <laughs> when shopping for a new car truck, Pro Day is no joke. Thanks, Todd. 
I'm a kid. <laughs> Can I get your autograph? You know what, Coach? <laughs> 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 <laughs>